Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a past, present, and future reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is going to be a love and money reading. It's actually going to be two different readings. First, I'm going to do love, and then I'm going to do money. This is your old uh, spread, past, present, and future. Typically, it's a three-card spread. If I feel the need to get clarifiers, I will. If I don't, I don't. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for past, present, and future in love? What do we have for Virgo? Past, present, and future in love. We'll do money portion after this. Virgo, love, past, present, and future, please devil in the past so the devil is demons right it's toxic it's toxic bonds it's trauma bonds it's codependencies is that where you've been you've had some sort of infatuation addiction or we're talking about love have you been attached to or choosing toxic partnerships based on all for all the wrong reasons materialistic reasons lust you know, whether it's, you know, it looked good on the outside or for the big roof, you know, the big house, the, you know, uh, white picket fence. Is that what happened in the past? Uh, the shadow side, codependency, addictions, infatuations, toxic bonds in the past. Toxic attachments, trauma bonds, codependencies in the past. Present. Ooh, six of pentacles reversed in the present. We want to do the reversals too because we want to get the real story, right? future nine of pentacles reverse you may not be single in the future if you're single now if you're single now you may not be looking for anything you know because this is not participating right six of pentacles right now you may not be giving anything to love or putting in much effort or there's been some sort of rejection or loss in the love department right I mean, right now, the Six of Pentacles reverse is, is a loss. It's a lack of reciprocation. Whether you're not giving to love, maybe you're just focused on your money or you're experiencing some sort of setbacks right now or you're really focused on your money. You could be deal having some money issues. I mean, we're going to do money in a minute but or a few minutes, but it feels like there could be some financial issues you know, that you're focusing on. I think you've definitely made poor choices in the past, and I think your choices have been based on outside appearances. Because the shadow, the devil is the shadow. What you see is not what you get. It looks good. In the dark, it looks good. When you're in the dark, okay, when you're in the dark, when you're not awakened, you know, when you're in the dark, when you're looking for instant gratification, you know. So, or you're looking to please the world, you know, what everybody else is going to say when you're under social pressure. A lot of people get married young or they get married to people for all the wrong reasons because they want their family and their friends and everybody to see that they have that happy relationship. And then this could also be where you've uh, you had some sort of addiction and you've bonded with somebody over the addiction or you just didn't want to be alone. Obviously, in the past, we have devil energy. And we're talking about you, okay? So if you're pointing the finger at somebody else, you can go someplace else, okay? Because we're talking about you. Okay, in the past, you've, you've chosen partners that are toxic for all the wrong reasons. Right now, uh, you're not getting what you deserve or you're not giving anything you may be even for some of you right now You may be in a partnership where you're not getting much you may be getting crumbs or you're being taken advantage of you know for the wrong reasons You know because you but there's a codependency here. There's a strong attachment to whatever this is 
maybe you've broken free from it some of you may have and you're just not giving i mean the six of pentacles reverses i'm not i'm not giving anything right now i don't have anything to give there's 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 uh, a loss of some sort no reciprocation whether you're in a relationship or not this is about love there's no reciprocation or there's a one-sidedness here uh somebody's just not interested they're not interested in putting in the effort okay this is lack of rewards let's get another card to go with that hmm. I wonder if you've been rejected or you've been let go from a situation or you're rejecting. Ah, Queen of Pentacles, you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your stability. You're probably very focused on your money, your home, your family, you know, building something, building your your financial stability. I think you're, you're, there's some sort of financial loss here, obviously, even though we're talking about love. I feel like you have a lot to offer as well. Maybe you've learned your value. Maybe in the past, you know, you, you maybe, or you're learning your value right now by not getting any reciprocation or not getting any rewards or not being recognized. Or maybe you're just really going within, focusing on your independence, focusing on yourself, focusing on your stability. I think that right now you have a lot to offer. I think that, you know, you know your value. I think, and I think that so, there's something in the past that may have you know you know rejection is god's protection uh, that just came out of my mouth but it's something in the past that's happened probably more than once that has probably caused you to learn your value i think you're leveling up in some way i mean the queen of pentacles is very grounded solid stable secure and maybe you're holding on to your value and you're not willing to give anything to anybody that doesn't have anything to give back I feel like right now you're focused on yourself. You're not giving to anybody. You're not giving to anybody that isn't giving to you. Or, you know, if you are in a relationship now, I, I'm not sure if there, there could certainly be a rejection here or a one-sidedness. There absolutely could be. But that Six of Pentacles reverse is being uh, not recognized not getting any rewards, not getting reciprocation. If that's the case, I think you're really focused on yourself. You're focused on who you are. I think that you're grounded and you're handling it quite well. Um, the Six of Pentacles is definite, in reverse, is definitely being undervalued, okay? Um, you may be rejecting somebody because you know your value. You may be doing the rejecting or somebody has rejected you. This has to do with self-value. Um, in the past, you've really chosen for all the wrong reasons, for lustful reasons or for uh, social acceptance reasons or for not wanting to be alone reasons. You've really made choices before the devil was in control. The future in love, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Now, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is a must take action must find the discipline this de again has to do with self-value for some of you you may either be, be becoming independent if you're with somebody now this could be you know becoming independent or not okay if you're independent you may be not independent for much longer you obviously are doing quite well with your self-value okay this is upright okay i think that you know when you are in a place of stability inner stability and you're secure with yourself and you're not giving to anybody that doesn't know your value everybody can see it it's attractive it's very attractive stability and security is attractive it is so you may be manifesting something through all your hard work without even putting in any effort to it you know what I mean anyhow let's talk about the future nine of pentacles reverse must find the self-discipline to take action nobody completes you a 
love, love. Ah, Ten of Cups reversed. Nobody completes you. And that's not ever, but right, you know, nobody does complete you. You complete you. There's, you're a whole. Okay, you are a whole. You're not a half. You're a whole. You really are. That's a, that's a misconception. It's an illusion. Ten of Cups reverse. Ten of Cups reverse is unhappy, unhappy relationship. Dying dream. Not looking for a relationship for some reason. And this is the near future. Some of you could be getting out of a relationship that is not happy. If you're in one right now, it feels as though it's very unstable. It's a one-sided situation. And it's based on lust, it's based on codependency, and it's based on greed. If you're in one right now, and I'm sorry to tell you that, but I ain't gonna, I am not going to fluff anything up. I'm not. I can see that you know your value and you're learning your value, or you have learned your value, okay? Or you're learning it right now through not getting what you deserve. If you've already learned that lesson, I'm not sure in the future, you know, you may be getting yourself into a relationship in the future. This, in the reverse, it's either an absence of or extremes. Okay, so if you are single, you could be getting yourself into an extremely happy relationship in the future, you know? But I don't think you're looking for it. If you're single, I just don't. I think that you're focusing on your work. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your stability. You know, you've made a lot of poor decisions with that devil energy. If you're with somebody right now, you may be getting out of a relationship because this person may be taking advantage of you. For some of you, there could be somebody that is coming into your life. This could be somebody that is from your past that is toxic. They see your stability. They see your security. They haven't been giving to you, okay? That your security and your stability is attracting them. The only reason that they're coming in is because they, they're unhappy and they need some sort of stability. There could be somebody that is coming in. There could be. There could be somebody here that doesn't have anything to offer you. And, you know, they want to get in a relationship. But I feel like this person, you know, is devil energy. So for you, some of you in the near future, I think that you definitely need to be careful with who you tie yourself to. Okay, because this does not lead to happiness. This person does not complete you. They may have some sort of financial instability in their life and they see that you have some sort of skills or security to offer them. So I think that you need to be very, very, very careful. Um, death. Death is the end of a situation, okay, that leads to a new beginning. So your life is changing, and it's going to be changing right now, okay? Your life is probably changing. This is something that is happening right now. Your life is changing. This is a profound life change. So it does have to do with a relationship. So let's look at it this way. If you've been in a relationship, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, this is a profound life change. It's an ending in a, in a new beginning. Okay, and it's big, it's huge, and it does definitely have to do with independence and a relationship. Okay, so if you've been in a long-term relationship that is toxic, it's probably going to come to an end. Okay, I'm just, I'm just telling you, I think it's going to come to an end. Somebody may learn their value, okay? They may just, something may happen, somebody gets this new realization of their value. All right. And somebody's thoughts may have been, whatever's happening, this is about manifestation. You've manifested something. Okay. Your thoughts have manifested something, whether you want it or not. Anyhow, um, some of you are going to be experiencing a separation. Okay. You're going to be separating from a toxic bond. An unhappy relationship. And some of you that have been independent and you have not been giving anything to a relationship, you haven't been looking for it, that's coming to an end as well. We have a major life change here. So in the future, for some of you, you may not be single. You may find yourself in a relationship that you had no intentions of getting yourselves into because of a toxic bond you were in in the past.
So that's what I got for love. I think in the future that, you know, you have a new beginning here, whichever way it works out for you. We do have a relationship change. May have something to do with a Scorpio. We have another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Capricorn, we have Scorpio, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have an unhappy relationship. We have a dying dream. Uh, leaving home, getting out of a relationship or getting into a new relationship. This is a relationship change. It is going to change. Everything is going to change. That's what's going to happen. This is a realization of your value, okay? You have a lot to offer. You have a lot to offer. Either way, however you see it, okay? However, this, this is for everybody. And, and this is about love. It is definitely about love. Romance is in the air. I feel like you've been really focused on changing yourself. This is what this is about, whether you're single or not. Everything changes. That's what I got. Let's talk about money, honey. Let's talk about money in the future. We gotta shuffle these. What do we have for Virgo for money? Past, present, future. Six of Wands reverse has been a lack of victory, no progress being me made, failing at something, <laughs> failing to achieve success or no progress, maybe losing something in the past, maybe you've lost something, maybe you've uh, lost some sort of battle or you've been following the crowd, you haven't taken the lead, there's a need to take charge, there's a need to uh, own up and be your own boss, you need to take charge of a situation. I feel like you've been letting somebody else lead you instead of taking charge in the past as far as your money goes. Six of Wands reverse is failing. Failing to achieve success, not winning. Lack of self-confidence has hindered you. Lack of self-confidence has hindered you from success. You can be the boss. You can take charge. You can, you can be the leader. You can. You have the skills to be the leader. But if you follow the crowd and you let them lead you, they win. Presently, you've been following the crowd instead of on the past. You've been following the crowd. You may have even let ego and cockiness get in the way. And we're talking about you. We all have good and bad traits. The Six of Wands reverse is ego and it's cockiness. Somebody that's full of themselves. And the only reason people have ego is because of fear and lack of self-confidence, right? You need to find your confidence. You have the skills to be successful, to be your own boss, to overcome any challenge. It feels like you give up. If you want success, you can't give up. You can't let other people lead you. You lead your life. You lead the battle. Presently. Money. Failing to achieve because you've been following the crowd, not taking charge. Letting other people lead. Oh, we got two. 
star card reverse and the nine of pentacles. I knew you were experienced. You may be losing faith in yourself. Have you lost faith in yourself? Is that what's going on? Well, son of a bitch. Oh my God, no hope, lack of hope, lack of inspiration. Why is this happening? Why am I losing so much? There's instability here. What, what, what's going on? That's the, right now, nine of pentacles reverse is financial loss or financial instability. It's things are not going well. I think you may be losing hope and it's all about you. Okay. If you want to be successful, you got to have hope and you got to have faith and you got to put in the work. You got to do the work. Okay. You absolutely need to find the self-discipline to take action right now. You need to believe in yourself. To have success and to have money, believing in yourself is the number one ticket. If you do not believe in yourself, do not expect anybody else to believe in you either. Nobody. This is get lack of recognition. You're not being, it's like you're not getting recognized for some reason or you're not being supported or you haven't gotten the support. And the reason is, is because you've been letting other people take the lead. You've been given this, you know, in your own lack of self-confidence is holding you back from making, having the security that you wish for. There is wish fulfillment to be had and abundance because it's here, but you have to do something. That nine of pentacles reverse is about doing something. You have to. Okay. I don't know if you've been, you've been spending too much or just not putting in much work not working hard enough. I'm not saying that. I know that you guys are workers because you're earth sign, okay? And I'm Virgo rising, so. Nine of pentacles reversed. Financial instability. But it starts with yourself. Your own insecurities are going to aid in your securities or insecurities are going to aid in your failure or success. It's all in your mind. It's all in your thoughts. Okay. If you want to be successful, you got to think it and you got to believe it and you got to do it. So right now, financially, I don't know if you're going through some sort, this is unbelievable. It's like an unbelievable loss. I mean, that's unbelievable. Losing faith in oneself, not putting in much effort, not enjoying a life. I mean, there's something going on here. Maybe there's a lack of gratitude. You need to be grateful for what you have. Maybe less is more. Right now you're experiencing some sort of insecurity, financial security. It comes from, it starts with your own self though, because of your own self doubt. There's something happening here that because you've let others take control. It's like they've, they're controlling your success because of your own lack of self belief and your own self doubt, you know, no faith, no faith in yourself. So other people are like, huh? Some of you are uh, trying really hard. You're working really, really hard. You may be depleting yourself. Trying, because this is depletion. This is working extra, because it can be an extreme. Working extra, extra, extra hard to win at something. I think you are working really, 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 really hard. And you're depleting yourself. So be careful for that. Be careful. You may need to take a break. Let's talk about the future. Nine of Wands reversed. Facing all life challenges. Facing them with all the strength you can muster. You are really being challenged. Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords is Charger. This is somebody that is charging in. This is somebody that is um, assertive coming in coming in fast, taking, taking charge, taking charge. You're going to be taking charge. You're going to be taking charge. You're going to be taking, you're going to be getting in that driver's seat that you didn't get in in the past. Okay. This is like, get out of my way. My mind is made up taking a new approach. Maybe you've had your guard up. This is letting your defenses down. 
I think that's what's going to happen. I think that you're about to take charge. I think that you're about to jump into the ring, right? Big change. You're going to be making some big changes in the future. That nine of wands reversed is like letting your guard down, maybe even defending yourself. You may be defending yourself. Maybe you've been, you know, set, you know, there's something about boundaries here. Maybe, you, maybe you've been too afraid to overstep your boundaries. It feels like you're about to do something aggressive. This is aggressive movement. It's fast paced movement. It's my mind is made up. I got to do this. You may get some sort of an epiphany or idea and just rush forward with this idea. You may need, this may have something to do with communication, speaking, you know, putting it out there. Gotta go, I gotta do this, I gotta go right now. You're gonna be going somewhere, you're gonna be putting plans in action, coming up with a strategy in the future. Taking a risk, doing something brave. You've been afraid. You've been afraid. You, you let go of that fear and you will have success. As far as your money goes, I think that things are going to change. Because whenever you get the Knight of Swords card in a reading, big change is coming. So big, 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 big change is coming as far as your finances go. It comes after you seize a new opportunity. Right now, I mean, there's a, there is definitely an opportunity to have it all. There's an opportunity. There's a delay, though. There's a delay in this abundance because there's something that you have to do. If you want to have this abundance, you got to communicate. you got to speak up. And you cannot let any type of fear hold you back, okay? Find yourself confidence. Find yourself worth. You have the skills. You have the ability. Follow the plan. Okay, come up with that plan and act on that plan. Take the new opportunity that you have missed or ignored or were too afraid to take. So right now, I feel like you're lacking, okay? And that's the truth. And you're going to continue to lack until you take charge, okay? Until you boss up, okay? You got to boss up. You got to speak up. You got to communicate. You got to, you got to, you got to replace that fear with faith, okay? This is your, this is your fear, okay? There's no faith here, okay? And I think you're working really, really hard, but you're still letting others lead you. Don't follow the crowd. Be different. Dare to be different. Dare to be different, Okay, Virgo, dare to be different. Communicate, speak the truth, be honest. Do not be afraid, okay? Let your guard down. Overstep, overstep, okay? And I, 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 you know, that's scary for me. And it may be scary for you as well, but that's the message that I'm giving. As far as your future money goes, the opportunity is here for wish fulfillment, for abundance. It's here. And it's extreme if you go after your dreams you have to go after your dreams okay and you can't let other people hold you back do not let other people hold you back you're in charge you're the boss do I think your finances will improve yes I do I do and they will probably improve very fast very fast once you let your guard down once you open up once you defend yourself once you communicate once you open up i think your finances will change fast good luck